What's up guys, Bodie Davison back with another video for you. So let's get into it. Uh, today's video, we're gonna talk about dropshipping suppliers for eBay dropshipping. Now, most people will tell you how to dropship on eBay, but then they won't give you their suppliers. I'm gonna give you some of the suppliers that I'm using currently. So in this list here, I know quite a few of you guys are from the USA um, that are my followers on, on uh, YouTube. And I know that some of them are Australian because obviously I'm Australian, so I have Australian followers as well. But anyway, some of the USA based suppliers that are the most common that most people use for drop shipping are Amazon, which is an obvious one, Amazon.com. Bedbathbeyond.com is another really popular one. Um, that, yeah, uh, these aren't, that one's not in um, Australia anyway, so I've got a USA list and an Australia list. But some of these Australian ones are probably in the US. It's just that I obviously don't know because I don't live there. So <clears throat> Kmart.com, which I've also got here in Australia, and Sears.com, which is, they're owned by the same company, I believe, in the US. Uh, Walmart, which is probably the biggest, the biggest one that everyone drop ships off. Everyone's heard of drop shipping off Walmart. So um, HomeDepot.com is also a massive one for drop shipping in America. Um, and Lowe's.com. So there's a list that should at least get you started if you're from America and have been wondering which suppliers people are using. These, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. These six are by far the most popular for drop shipping on eBay in America. Now you're going to find other ones, and what you want to do, there's a few tricks that I'll tell you guys. Uh, that I've been discovering along the way. Like I said, I've been playing with this for the past couple of months and just mucking around with it so that I get the hang of it, then I can teach it to you because what's the point in me trying to teach you something I don't know anything about? But um, yeah, so there's a few tricks that I've uncovered that I'll show you guys shortly. But anyway, let's go Australia. So these are some of the ones that I've been using currently. And if you're Australian, some of these will pop out to you like the Iconic. My girlfriend shops on the Iconic all the time. Um, Kmart obviously. Booktopia is another one that I've uh, been using. Kogan is another one. Lorna Jane I haven't used. Um, Ridgeline I haven't used. JB Hi-Fi I haven't used. JB Hi-Fi, that's like DVDs, music, games, that sort of stuff. Ridgeline is like um, outdoor gear. They're a really popular brand. I don't know if they're popular in US. But in New Zealand and Australia, Ridgeline is like, uh, it's probably like the, you know, high level sort of brand or one of the high level sort of brands in the outdoor backpack and outdoor sort of gear space. So that's something that I, I've been looking into. Maya, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Maya's in America. Um, leave a comment below and let me know. Harvey Norman is like an, uh, they got, actually it's a mix of everything, but Harvey Norman's another huge store. Kind of like Kmart, but more towards they sell TVs and tech, you know, technology sort of stuff like that, cameras and all that as well. But they sell couches, all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff between all of this and all of this that you could be drop shipping, like so much stuff. Then it just becomes um, comes down to you doing some research and seeing if there's any sort of products you can find that you can mark up. And like I said to you guys in previous videos, if you're going to mark it up what you want to do is the price and the shipping and then times it by 1.5 and that should be like that'll cover your paypal fees your ebay fees and then 1.5 at a minimum by the way you can do it by you know more than that depending on what the competition's like but uh 1.5 at a minimum then that'll cover your paypal fees your ebay fees and give you a little bit of profit so that's just a general rule of thumb to go by these aren't like hard and fast rules. You can do whatever you want, but this is just me trying to help you guys out. So let's go to the internet, uh, amazon.com. Now, another thing you can do here is go to Amazon bestsellers, which I don't have pulled up, but I'll just show you. So this is a little trick that I've been playing with. Also watch count, you can do it on, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you go Amazon bestsellers, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about that, unless you're com you know, complete beginners to all this. And if you are, welcome to my channel, you're going to love it. So Amazon bestsellers, you can go into any one of these and find the best selling products on Amazon. Why does that matter? Well, it matters because 
then they're products that you could be advertising on your eBay and then drop shipping those products. Like you know that people are wanting to buy these products because they're the most popular on one of the biggest websites, if not the biggest website in the world. So it's pretty obvious how that works, I would think. So yeah, you would go through like, let's look at appliances. What What's up the top for appliances? You know, like you got, why couldn't you do this? Why couldn't you have that on there and have it at a marked up price and then try and outrank everyone with your keywords and have a heap of listings with all these products if not all of them but quite a few of them the, this is the game with ebay it's about having a lot of listings outranking other people for keywords and then drop shipping the product it's it's a numbers game pretty much whereas you know shopify drop shipping is more about you have to pay for your ads uh pay for your traffic to your website so you really have to target who you're who you're um, trying to sell the product to, make sure your ads are good, all that sort of stuff. eBay is very different because you're just trying to outrank other people that are selling the same things and then people are lazy so they'll buy your product first because they don't want to scroll down too much. And that's literally how it works. Um, if you want to play small percentages, some people do this with eBay. I don't recommend it because it's a race to the bottom as they say. And what they're doing is they're just marking up by the tiniest percent, you know, like, a, you know, it's literally cents. They're beating someone by 20 cents and then that person changes their listing to beat them by 20 cents and then no one makes any profit and it's a race to the bottom. I don't do that. I think it's stupid and a waste of your time. Who wants to make like a dollar out of a sale? You've still got to fulfill that sale or hire someone to fill, fulfill it for you and that's money you have to pay people. So I don't do that. As I said, I times thing by one, things by 1.5, then if the products aren't selling, once you got a lot of listings there, cut all the ones out that aren't selling and keep adding to your listings and then only keep the ones that actually are making you sales. It's honestly as simple as that. Like it's really not that hard. Um, it obviously takes time though. People are lazy, I know, just like I said with people that shop for things. Um, you can't be lazy guys. If you want to make some extra income, you've got an internet connection, you've got a laptop or whatever you've got, you've got an iPhone, you can do it on that. Put in some time in your spare time. Don't play video games, don't go out drinking with friends. Put in some time and make that side income. So, eBay. Now, another way you can do it on here is by going watch count. This is the other trick I wanted to show you guys. Watch count. Now, see how it's got categories here? You can actually do the same thing, and this has been one of my little tricks that I've been playing with. So let's say that we're gonna go, <clears throat> let's go home appliances again, just because we've done that before. Now, this is the most watched items on eBay Australia in the home appliances uh, category. So what you can do here is go down all of these, grab a paper, grab a pen and paper or like a word document, whatever you want to do. Click on each one of these, every one of these that's at the top that has the most watches, you could be advertising that product and then trying to outrank them and sell this product or whatever product, like whatever category it is. Maybe you go further down to something that's like a little uh, a little less competitive like pocket scales look at these why couldn't you do that and then try and outrank them and be selling the same product you can do this guys this is all that I'm teaching you and this is what I've been doing it works so and like what's this a um, food sealing machine 1263 watches that one's 7190 this thing was only $12.95 so you could mark that up for sure someone would pay what's 12 hang on I'll grab my phone out $13, let's say, times 1.5. You could do it by even more, times 1.5. So that's $19.50. So you could sell that. I would put like $25 on that. Why wouldn't someone pay $25 for that? And it's got free postage too. So you could mark that up by $25 and sell that exact same thing. So this is what I'm saying to you guys. You can do it, do it by going down Amazon bestsellers like I showed you. And you can go to watchcount.com and just go down the line here and like, let's pull up another one. How about pet supplies might be a good one. 
Everyone's always buying things for their pets. Uh, this kennel, that's a lot of money to outlay. So, you know, that's up to you whether you want to take that sort of risk. But something like this, $38.50. Oh, I don't like that stuff, actually. Anti-bark spray. I think that's mean for your dog. Uh, rabbit hutch. You could poss possibly do that. Be careful with shipping, though. Actually, that's something that I'll, I'll tell you right now because I got caught out on it as well. So, be careful because let's say your supplier... For you guys that are in Australia will understand this. Your suppliers in Victoria, which is the bottom of Australia for you American guys. Well, I had a thing that I was selling that was quite big and it had free postage and I sold it a few times, but it was to only it was only to states that were close by to Victoria. Then someone bought it in Western Australia, which is way over here, the opposite side of Australia, and I wasn't even thinking of that. Then the postage was attached to it and it ended up being like $80 postage because it was quite a big thing, like I was saying, even though it was light. So then what I did was fulfilled the order and just took the loss um, because I didn't want to, you know, muck around my, my uh, the, the buyer and get negative feedback because I've been getting a lot of positive feedback and I just took it as a lesson and which a lesson I can teach you here. And the reason I'm saying that is because something like this, that might have free postage but then you go, you get a buyer that's like in another state that's far away and they've got to ship it quite far. They might have an extra fee for the postage there. So that that's a good lesson, guys. Be careful of that. So be careful of how big it is, is all I'm saying. And whether that postage issue could come up. As for me with that product that I was selling, I fulfilled the order. I sent it off, took the loss, you know, whatever. Um, it didn't really cost me that much. And then I just got rid of that listing altogether so that I won't have to deal with that again. But um, it was selling well, but yeah, I don't want to get stung with that $80 or whatever it was postage each time that it goes to Western Australia. So, um, cat, cat uh, scratching post, that could be, that'd be a good one as well. You could mark that up, 31.90 times 1.5. So let's say 32 times 1.5. 32 times 1.5, $48. Yeah, you could sell that for 50 bucks. And the way I do that is like look at it and you know think, would I pay that? Would someone pay that? If it's ridiculous to times it by 1.5, like let's say it's like, like this one, if it's $130 or whatever, even though that's marked down, so I wouldn't play with that. But like if this was $130 times 1.5, it's getting a bit ridiculous, like someone's not gonna pay whatever that works out to be for just a rabbit hutch when they could find one so much cheaper. Like this one's similar, but different. You know, someone's just not gonna pay that. Whereas something like this, which is $6, you could easily sell that for double that and someone would still pay it. So use your best judgment there is all I'm saying. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Just a little couple of tricks showing you what suppliers, um, which people don't show you. This is what people charge you money for. I'm showing you for free on my, e on my uh, YouTube channel. I nearly said eBay channel. And yeah, you could go down all of this and you could drop ship all of these products just like that. Home and Garden is always a good one and use the Amazon bestsellers for ideas as well. So I'll leave this video here. I hope you guys find that uh, useful. I don't see how you wouldn't. Now the next thing is for you to actually go and take action it takes a while to put up those listings. You've got to just bang them out. Like what if you put in a couple of hours a day at the, you know, you might work a nine to five job, come home instead of mucking around or just laying on the couch watching Netflix, spend a couple of hours, put some listings up and start to see some money come in. And then you, it'll get you motivated to do more. And yeah, I guess I'll leave it there. So please give the video a thumbs up for me. Leave a comment below if you have any questions on that. Make sure you join the free Facebook group, which is in the link down below somewhere. It's called Dropship Secrets 100K Club. Closing in on a thousand members in there and just trying to help everyone make some money. Uh, yeah, hit subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video.